very much. Well, while Russia has been flexing its muscles in Ukraine, it's also been exerting its influence on the airwaves. The 24-hour news channel Russia Today has been providing a distinctive stance on the issue, a stance often condemned as pro-Putin. While Crimean authorities were asking Moscow for help, the leader of Ukrainian nationalist group Right Sector has reached out for the help of one of the world's most notorious terrorists on a social network. Russia today is funded by the Kremlin but claims to be to Europe what Al Jazeera is to the Middle East, an independent voice to counterbalance Western-dominated media. But not everyone agrees, including some of its presenters, one of whom spectacularly resigned in protest live on air yesterday. Personally, I cannot be part of a network funded by the Russian government that whitewashes the actions of Putin. I'm proud to be an American and believe in disseminating the truth. And that is why, after this newscast, I'm resigning. Well, just before we came on air, I spoke to Liz Wall. With the crisis in Crimea, the propaganda uh, the propaganda coming from this network has reached unprecedented levels. Uh, it's become increasingly clear that they're trying to control the message in a way that aligns with Vladimir Putin's Russian, uh, his, his foreign policy objectives with questions being outright censored. Um, I had an interview with a former congressman, Ron Paul, yesterday. I used the word Russian invasion and they cut those words out. Was this really the first time in your career at Russia Today that it occurred to you that this Russian-backed station might have a particular point of view to put across? No, I mean, this it's something that I've been battling uh, a very long time. I think when I started there, I saw it as an opportunity. Um, I was aware of uh, the geopolitical stance of, of Russia and, and Putin and, and his agenda, but I wasn't aware of the extent to which it would be uh, infiltrated into the newscast and the amount of censorship that did go on. Because you talk there about when you went to Russia today at the beginning, it, you saw it as an opportunity. Your former bosses are saying, this is, in fact, you've had your opportunity at Russia today, and this is you seeking publicity, maybe a new job on the American nets. Yeah, they're saying that it's a, pub, uh, I guess, a, I don't, a publicity stunt, if the, if the were, or a self-promotional stunt. But I think as uh, this propaganda war is ensuing, um, he heightened rhetoric with uh, with it, with uh, with increasingly this network being used as a, as a pawn to further foreign policy objectives. If they're going to say this is a publicity stunt, then then that's fine with me. The idea of a neutral media. If you look at your own country, look at Fox News, for example. It clearly has a very particular agenda. Many other stations the same. I mean, are you are you being naive here? Were you naive when you went to Russia today? No, I mean, um, I think when I went into Russia today, as I went, when I, I saw it as an opportunity, and uh, I was hoping to make the most of it, um, I think every journalist or, or anything, anything that comes up in your life, uh, eventually you have to take a stance. I think what's different here is that this channel is being used to promote a foreign policy objective of a, a dictatorial leader in incre increasingly tense times, and that, I think, is dangerous. Liz Wall, thank you very much for joining us.